What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over my in-game heavy gunner power armor build. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, that way the Fault 76 community can see this, and subscribe for more Fault 76 content. Let's get into it. Starting off everything, the Brotherhood of Steel has sent me to a few locations around the map, that way I can take out some targets and demonstrate how powerful this build is. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you the exact build I'm using, my weapon, and its mods. With that being said though, the first target on my list is a super immune behemoth that goes by the name Shadow. Shadow is extremely vicious, but I'm a power armor and I think I'm stronger than him. So, bring it on. This is Battle of the Titans right here. Bring it on. Shadow will stand no chance against this weapon or this build because it is my crippling build. And just like that, Shadow is no more. Now, let's move on to my next target. The next target on my list that the Brotherhood of Steel want me to take down is my personal Scorch Beast, Charlie. I forgot to feed Charlie before I left to work today, and well, now she's harassing the White Springs Golf Club. The Brotherhood said if I don't knock her out and take her back, they're gonna do it themselves. And well, if I let them touch my Scorch Beast, Charlie, they might kill her. So, Charlie is knocked out, and now it's time to get back to my camp. On to the next one. The next targets on my list that the Brotherhood of Steel want me to take down are located at the West Tech Research Center. And here we have a bunch of super mutants that are very angry and keep attacking the settlers that walk this road. So, I'm gonna gather all their attention out here. What's up guys? You think you're big, huh? Picking on all the settlers just because they ain't got no armor they're not as tall as you? Well, you, you make me sick. You all make me sick. And screw this machine because I just hate machines. We're gonna gather these guys up. Bring it on, let them know I'm here. Because I'm not scared. And we ain't hiding. Bring it on, Overlord or Warlord. Once over here. Oh, we got more, huh? You will stand no chance. Cool thing about this gun is you can use it in vats if you want to. I actually have a full vats build for it. But this one is meant for not vats. These guys are like, what the heck? What the heck? Oh, I need to reload. Bring it on. Where's the last guy? I smell his fear. Is he over here? Oh, there he is. Goodbye, warlord. And just like that, the super mutants of West Tech are no more. Now, let's move on to my next target. The next target on my list that the Brother of Steel want me to take down is the one and only My Alert Queen of Spruce Knob Lake. Now, I'm being really bossy because I just walked right up to her. I'm standing in front of her and all of her army men because we are an extremely tanky build and these guys will stand a no chance, especially her. Look at her. Look how weak she is. She just falls. She just, she bowed to me actually because I'm the king of Spruce Knob Lake. Goodbye guys. Let me take out your queen little, oh yeah, right there. Those face shots, look at that. Her health, just drained. And we are having my alert queen tonight and some soft shell my alerts. Now, Let's move on to my next target. The next targets on my list aren't strong, but there are plenty of them. So if I get swarmed, I can get killed. But we have a ton of ghouls here located at the White Springs Golf Club. The Brotherhood wants me to take them out. That way we can renovate this place and turn it into our own personal headquarters so we can spy on the White Springs itself. There's a ton of robots and a ton of action going on there that's very, very odd in our eyes. But let me just gather these ghouls up and then we'll mow them down. Oh yeah. The pepper shaker is amazing. Look at that. Oh, gotta reload. Oh, that poor guy. I, I hate looking at them when they're crippled like that. That's just so sad. Any more? Are we down here? Where are you at? Get T-Rex arms. Is anyone down here? Looks like I had another initiate come here before I did. Luckily, I came back through because he didn't wipe them all out. But let me just take this guy out, and then I'll get into my build, the weapon I'm using, and its mods. Ah, fair enough. Now let's get into them. Starting off over in the build, these are my base stats. These are all the base stats before the legendary perk cards are equipped. So if you want to build the exact build I'm using, this is the start. Now let's get into the legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary prayer cards, these are all the legendary prayer cards that make of the build. As you can see, they're not all maxed, so there's definitely some room to grow here. But starting off with Endurance, we have that card maxed out. We have Luck at 2 stars. 
Strength at 1 star, Intelligence at 2 stars, Far Flung Fireworks at 1 star, and Follow Through at 2 stars. Now these last two cards aren't necessary, though with Far Flung Fireworks I am using another card in my normal perks to pair with this, so it might be necessary depending on if you want things to explode. But these are all the legendary perk cards that make of the build. Now let's get into my normal perk cards. Over in the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards that make of the build. Starting off in strength, we have 15, and this is so we can have all the heavy gunner cards maxed out, and also two of the shotgunner cards maxed out. This is how we get the max amount of damage out of this build. Then over in perception, we have three, and this is so we can have concentrated fire at one star. Then we also have grenader at two stars. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius. And this is the card that works with Far Flung Fireworks, so I decided to use both of them. Over in Endurance, we have 7, and this is so we can have Life Giver maxed out. Gain a total of plus 45 to your maximum health. Then we have Fireproof maxed out. Take 45% to less damage from your explosives and flame attacks. Then over in Charisma, we have 9, and this is so we can have Lone Wanderer maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% to less damage and gain 30% AP regain. Then we have Field Surgeon maxed out. Stim packs and Rataway right Away will now work much more quickly. Then we have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% to more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 5, and this is so we can have First Aid at 2 stars. Stim packs restore 30% to more lost health. We have Stabilize maxed out. In Power Armor, Heavy Guns gain excellent accuracy and ignore 45% armor. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this is so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action Points regenerate 45% faster. We have Enforcer maxed out. Your shotguns gain a 15% stagger chance and a 30% chance to cripple a limb. Then we have a Born Survivor maxed out. Falling below 40% health will automatically use a stim pack once every 20 seconds. Then we have Adrenaline at 3 stars. Gain a plus 8% max 48% of damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Then we have Dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in Luck we have 11 and this is so we can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have 1 gun army maxed out. Heavy Guns gain a 12% stagger chance and a 12% chance to cripple a limb. Then we have Ricochet maxed out. Gain a 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's ranged damage, no PvP. Then of course we have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. This is the entire in-game Heavy Gunner Shotgunner build that I used. Now let's get into the weapon and its mods. Over in the weapon, this is it. This is my 3 star legendary pepper shaker that I used for the demonstrations, and the main legendary effect is the anti-armor effect, which is it ignores 50% of your target's armor, has a 25% faster fire rate, and also has your VAT's critical meter fills 15% faster. This gun is extremely deadly and will stop anything in its tracks. It's one of my favorite guns in Fallout 76 currently, and it's the reason I made this in-game build, you know. You need to have a good in-game hybrid build and this is the weapon to do it. Over in the mods, what I decided to use, since I'm using power armor, I use the hex barrel, I use the plasma magazine, gunner sight, and sadly we don't have any appearances so I couldn't do that. But if I was not running power armor, I would definitely throw on the dual barrel. I tried the single barrel and honestly, I felt like I was healing my targets. I could not kill a single thing with the single barrel. I don't know what's going on with it, but like I would literally get their health all the way down and then rubber band back. So I only recommend the hex barrel or the dual barrel, but definitely go with the hex barrel if you're using power armor. But this is the weapon, the build, and the mods of the weapon. And guys, if you enjoyed the Fault 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fault 76 content, and guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.